very much and good afternoon. You know, without a lot of fanfare, we've done a lot of good work in the area of workers' compensation in 2011. Uh, first thing we did was we started off with roughly $165 million uh, savings to both local Ohio businesses and also government. And how did we do that? Well, we achieved it first off by reducing private employer rates by 4%. We followed up with reducing public employer rates by 5%. Excuse me, 4% on private, 5% on public. For an overall, when we looked at the budget for the Bureau of Workers' Compensation, we brought them back in about 12%, bringing that total up to a roughly $165 million per year. And we did this way by keeping our primary focus on the employee. How do we help the employee reach a better outcome and get back to work? We looked at six primary reforms in 2011 when we accomplished our goals. We first looked at a, a four-year, $4 million wellness grant program to reward employers who actually want to help employees get back to work and put in workforce programs that reduce obesity, that help with chronic disease, guide them to managed care, and look at what we're going to do as our, aging, as our workforce ages. We have a program called Destination Excellence, which again rewards employers for doing risk management with regards to their workers' compensation program, trying to look at improving on safety issues, prevention, and return to work rates. We expanded the Safety Council's rebate program, thus allowing group-rated group rated employers to save an additional 2% discount if they could demonstrate that they also were focused on employee safety. And for the first time ever, we've been introduced into the Bureau of Workers' Compensation a formulary for medication, something that all of us in our private health care are well used to and, and have been perfecting for years and years and years. This alone has saved over $15 million in just a mere 18 months. Next, we looked at Ohio, the Grow Ohio program, which also reduced premiums significantly for the employers, giving them motivation to expand and put capital back into their business by allowing them to opt for a 25% premium reduction discount or allowing them to join group rating programs immediately, thus saving upwards of 53%. And lastly, we said, you know, there's a lot of small businesses out there and businesses that are growing and striving to, to do well for Ohio and for their employees. And every once in a while, we leave a bill in the drawer and we forget to pull it out and make sure it gets processed through accounting. So we said to our, to our businesses through the Common Sense Initiative program that we're going to waive your penalties and interest if you miss that premium payment for the first time, giving them a, a first-time grace period. So what are we going to do in the next year? Well, we've listed up on, on the monitor a couple principles for our BWC reform. Probably shouldn't just say Bureau of Workers' Compensation Reform. We should probably be inclusive, though, and look at workers' comp, thus marrying both our worker, Bureau of Workers' Compensation and our Industrial Commission, which is the lesser-known sister of the two, but probably impacts employers more so. So what are we going to do in broad topics? We're going to look at improving quality outcomes for injured workers by emphasizing better health care. We're going to do that by creating, creating incentives for the health partnership program. We're going to look at quality outcomes. We're going to measure them. We're going to fund to measure quality outcomes, looking at return to work rates and how we can improve those. We're going to look at protecting Ohio's workforce by building incentives for employers to become actively engaged, give them a reason to partnership with the employee and with the programs available through proper risk management, so that we're preventing, not only are we preventing accidents, but when they do occur, we're engaging that employee with the partnership to get folks back to work as quickly as possible. We're looking at returning to a solid ground of employee safety and wellness programs. So again, it's about measuring the outcomes to, to returning people to work, not just paying somebody for a number of visits they have with a provider. We're also going to look at the Industrial Commission and how they can partner with that return to work process so that we can form a good partnership, much like you have on your private health insurance, where you have a primary care physician whose, whose sole purpose for being is to get the person back into a healthy state. We want workers' compensation to behave that same way. So why are we focusing on the workers' compensation? Well, it is all about jobs, and it's about getting people back to work, and it's about measuring outcomes, and it's about being proactive and not reactive when we're assisting our employees and able to, to improve not only themselves, but our overall workplace. So that's primarily the reason why we're looking at workers' comp. Uh, we, we have an aggressive agenda for the last year, and I uh, look forward to working through that. At this point, I believe I'm turning it over to Representatives Hagan and Davila so they can continue on.